Hey, hope you're doing great today. Steve Bedell, your EXP Realtor in the Villages, Florida. Coming at you again this week with some more and great information and stats about the Villages. And I got a good one for you this week. And something that I think you might find pretty interesting because when well, I saw the I saw the article on this, I was kind of shocked. If you know the villages, the villages they just <laughs> they just build and build and build and build and they're growing and growing and growing and growing. Uh, the joke is that um, we're about an hour from Disney and that one day we'll be able to take our golf cart to there. And uh, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. The place is big. All right, but here we go. But so when I saw a thing that said the villages sales were down in 2023. I said, well, we got to take a look at this. A little further investigation is in order. So, here's what we got here. Here's what we got. The Village of Florida. New home sales. Now, of course, you know, new home sales in the villages are only sold by the villages. Not like most places where a realtor can sell anything he wants. The villages has their own sales staff. They are the ones that sell the new homes that are built by the developer. So they're built by the developer. They're sold by the developer with their, sold, with their sales staff. They don't sell any place else. They only sell in the villages. Okay, but here we go. Um, 2022 sales for 3,923 new homes and 2023 sales, 3,029 homes. So if I uh, break out my high school math that um, I don't use very often, honestly, <laughs> that's 894 homes less. So almost 900 homes less. And divide that into the, uh, by the 39.23, and we get a 22% drop in home sales this year by the villages. Now that's a pretty big number. So. If we take a look at things, we say, well, let's see what's causing that and what caused it and the factors involved are the same that they are everywhere. Here's why. The big thing, of course, the fact is the interest rate. Now, we all know the interest rate shot up to about 7% and it may be a touch over that. It crossed over the 7% line a little bit. But now it's kind of like receding back and... All indications are that it's going to keep heading backwards at least a little bit and keep dropping down a little bit. So that might spark uh, more sales. But remember, when you've got interest rates at 7%, which historically aren't high, but when you get spoiled on like 3% mortgages, they look pretty drastic and they do make a big difference in how much your monthly payment is going to be. So you might say before at a 3% mortgage, you can afford a $500,000 house. Well, a 7% maybe you're looking at 350. So anyway, very big difference. So here's what the so interest rate is going to slow things down for new buyers, but also for people who are already in homes here that might be thinking about sell, they're going to look at they're sitting on maybe a 3% mortgage and then if they buy a new place, they're looking at a 7% or maybe a 6% now mortgage. You can see why they might say, well, that just doesn't make any sense. I'm going to sit right here where I am. Uh, another factor you've got to consider with people who are already here, though, too, and the new homes, is that this is um, it's still a pretty big number because when you consider that over 60% of the homes sold in the villages are cash sales. So that kind of negates the interest, the whole interest part of this, but it still shows you that not all sales are and they really have an effect on things. But in any case, I thought you might like to see these stats and even though, here's the silver line in here, even though villages sales of new homes were down 22% for last year, the villages is still, still, the number one community sales new, in new sales in the United States. So, they've kind of taken a path and dropped down, but so has everybody else 
and still hanging on to that number one spot. So, anyway, I hope that helps. A little explanation. It might seem like a, a, a horror headline at first when sales are boom, down 22%. But <laughs> when you look at it, examine the facts, see where, where we still are, and see where we are related to the rest of the country, we're still in great shape. So, any questions, comments on this, I'd appreciate them. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll be back next week with more information uh, about the villages of Florida for you. Until then, we'll see you.